Time for design number three. This one is based on a photograph I took, a couple, well, it's probably now a couple of years ago, two or so years ago. Down on the N3 between Joburg and KZN. Um, it is part of some farmland. Now the, the picture doesn't show it so much. So it was more as, a, more as a reference for me to try and remember what I saw. And the design we're going to do today is a landscape patch is what I'm going to call it. And here's how we do. It's not as difficult as last month's design. I can promise you that. We are going to take your chalk pen or blue pen and you're going to divide the space that you want to quilt into random sections. So I'm taking my, my chalk pencil, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer and I'm going to randomly divide the space into shapes. So I'm not overthinking it, I am really just doing a random breakup of the area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add channels so that we can separate the patches that we're going to sew down. So you see these different fields basically as you drive through that certain area. It's more towards the escort side. Um, and I'm not sure what kind of um, crop grows out there because it's kind of like in the hills. But it has these... It looks like roads or, or uh, fences between the patches. So just take your chalk pen and randomly draw inside of the first set of lines, adding another set of boundaries. So I'm not measuring it out exactly. It can be whatever size you feel like. <coughs> that would mostly depend on how big your patches are. See, so I'm adding these random channels around the areas. Okay, and now I'm going to add my quilting inside of that. So let's make a nice fat line. And the, des the, the design that you use in here can be almost anything. I'm going to start off, start off with some straight lines up and down. It's the easiest. It can be pebbles, it can be meander, it can be scribbling, it can be any type of design. Uh, obviously, if you break it up over a bigger area, you have more freedom to play with it. But this up and down line system is the easiest. You are going to have stops and starts with it because it reads as individually quilted patches. So find a space to start. I'm going to start here. And now I'm going to follow this line and I'm just going to keep that angle going. And I'm going to flatten inside the boundaries that I've drawn with my up and down. Finish it off with a, a proper stop. And now the next area, I want to change up the direction. So I can probably follow maybe this line. And you don't have to do the line straight. You can angle them like this. And just go back and forth, back and forth, and keeping that kind of like that angle going. You want to try and have them all in the same density. So there we go. And now the next patch, let's change it up with this angle. So you're changing up the angles of every patch and playing it off against each other. I beg your pardon. Okay, now this one, let's go with this long line and let's keep it angled. Let's keep it on a curve. And we just keep on filling all of these spaces inside the boundaries that we've drawn. We're flattening. So we're leaving the channels in between unquilted. Now this one, I think let's do this way. So constantly just switching it up and playing with these opposites. Um, almost changing direction. And it creates beautiful texture and your thread color will have a, a different sheen depending on from which angle you're looking at these areas as your your quilting direction changes so just keep on filling that space 
um, with your line work up and down this one i think will go here there we go and over here i think i want to play this one up in this direction any and all directions are viable and you can play with the different designs as you wish Here is a version with a meander filling that area. And what if we do echo lines? So just literally echoing the inside of the shape all the way down to the center point. And you can make these echoes as densely as you want them, um, stitched as densely. Just I would just make sure that the lines are closer to one another than the width of the channels so that your channels can pop up as the unquilted sections. Go have fun with us.